Hi, Lyric. How are you? Uh, Rachel Nichols here. I hope you know who I am because if you don't, this is super embarrassing. Um, but I want to give a shout out first to your dad, Kevin, who organized this cameo. And I have to say, I'm super, super, super impressed. Um, I'm really close with my father and I don't think he knows what cameo is, let alone orchestrating one for me. So Kevin, job well done. Um, this is like the fifth time I've tried to record this because I have a neighbor who keeps mowing his lawn. I have a neighbor with a weed whacker. I have a husband who keeps opening doors. Um, he's on a Zoom meeting and then he keeps knocking on the window in the middle of the take and then I have a dog out, outside barking. So I'm doing the best that I can. Um, but anyway, your father, um, very sweetly told me a little bit about what's going on with you and I'm just going to give it to you straight girl. Breakups suck. I, they just suck. I don't care if they're good, bad, ugly, amicable, long-term, short, they suck. And I know that you were in a six-year relationship. I was also at one point in a six-year relationship, which ended. Um, and my mom gave me some really great advice, which I, which I listened to and totally worked. She said, Rachel, you'll never meet the right man if you're with the wrong one. And I broke up with the person that I was with and that's, that wasn't my six year relationship. That was a, a different relationship. I broke up with him and then very soon after that, I met Michael who I'm married to now. Um, but it was great advice. You'll never meet the right person, uh, the right partner if you're with the wrong one. So I know this time is probably scary. You've been in a six year relationship and I'm assuming this is your longest and your, um, like your first super long relationship because that's a really long relationship and I know that I think I, your dad gave me your your Twitter handle um so I, th I think you're only 22 so you got you got some time girl you you got some time to just enjoy your life but I I know that breakups are really really tough and I you know there are songs that are going to make you upset and there are clothes that you're not going to want to wear there are foods you're not going to want to eat and I've always said accept all those feelings and just know that this too shall pass. Things will get better and you're going to have good days and you're going to have bad days and you're going to have happy days and you're going to have sad days, but they're all days and you just take them for what they're worth. And I think it's really important that, um, you talk to the people that love you. You obviously have great parents. You have a great support system, which is extremely important. And you got to talk. You talk to people, talk to your friends, talk to, to your parents, talk to your siblings. I don't care, but you gotta, you gotta talk about it. So the, the most important thing is not to, to bottle everything up inside, um, and try to conquer this breakup on your own. Cause that's just no fun. And, um, talking always makes me feel better anyway. I mean, it, it's just, one of, it's just one of those things. So I just want you to know that it's painful right now and it sucks and there's just, you just got to go through it. There's no, there's no shortcut. There's no fast track. There's, you just got to go through it. And, oh, look, even, even my dog, look, uh, yep. Even Lolo came up to the window. At least she didn't bark. Even Lolo came up to the window to say, you just got to go through it, girl. And you will get through it. Um, and just scream into a pillow if you need to. I, it, anything that is going to make you feel better, just just do it. But breakups suck. I wish I could say something more profound than that. Um, but that's just, that's just the God honest truth. So again, you'll never meet the right person if you're with the wrong one. So you were with the wrong one. You're young. So you got that, that going for you. Um, this too shall pass. The days will get easier. And as speaking someone you know, from personal experience, I promise you there are brighter days ahead. And this is a crazy time. This is a crazy time. We all know that. So it's certainly not made easier by the fact that you're in the middle of the breakup. Um, but anyway, I hope this helps just a little bit. I hope it makes you smile just, just a little bit because it's making me smile, obviously. Um, I'm really glad that the neighbor stopped with the weed whacker. My dog is very concerned about you. She really wants to come inside and tell you that it's going to be okay. Um, anyway, Lyric, you are loved. You are loved. You are loved. And just know that. 
Um, and one last little thing, because I creeped on your Twitter, I'm also Slytherin. Just saying. Slytherin all the way. Shh, don't tell anyone. No, I'm kidding. I love it. I'm totally Slytherin. Um, anyway, I, again, I hope this brought some joy to your day. It definitely brought some joy to mine. And again, shout out to Kevin for being an awesome, awesome, awesome dad. And shout out to your mom because she was the one that knew your Twitter handle. So you got some good parents. All right, girl. Try to stay healthy, stay as sane as you possibly can, and better days are to come. I promise you that.